be boiling pot. I'm okay. gonna record just for those who missed the class. So I'm gonna start boiling it. Then I have my chicken, the rice, and my garlic. And I'm going. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch you. You said, "What are you going to start boiling? The rice?" The chicken stock. I'm not boiling the, the stock. Okay. I'm so boiling the chicken stock, getting it, getting it. Uh, if you have your chicken in, take it out because you don't no, want. I, to no, chicken stock is good. Yeah. And you can try it if it needs adjustment to fault. Now I'm going to start to frying my uh, vermicelli. I'm sorry, approximately how much vermicelli are you frying? Um, so I put it maybe two. For my uh, measurement, I put two cups. Maybe for yours, you can use one cup. Okay, I, I, did, have... I did everything, yeah, according to what you sent. So I might have a big family here, so that might come useful. Um, so you, you, I really don't measure anything when I make it, so just accept the rice, of course. So I'm gonna make it hot, and it's just gonna make it um, uh, golden brown. We don't wanna burn it. So my mom has a trick, so uh, she, because we use it in all, a lot to the vermicelli, she, once she buy it, she bake it in the oven to get the color and she store it in an airtight container. So whenever it's ready, whenever she wants to cook it, just ready to add it to the rice. Please let me know if I'm going too fast and if you want me to slow down. Who else is cooking along other than Nasir here? I don't see any activities. Shaheen, you're not, you're in the car. Moose, are you cooking? I'm cooking. Excellent. Ruhi? Okay, me, me, me and my niece are uh, absorbing all this because she's gonna make it too. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my video off, okay? Okay. So. We're gonna just fry it until it's like golden brown. So pan fried or roasted. To bet you're in coma, if you are like in Palo Alto area or Mountain View, I'll just come and uh, you know, take some food from you later. <laughs> you can. <laughs> coma is far. <laughs> We're in your study though, right? Sorry, sister, you're saying? You are in Sunnyvale? I'm in Sunnyvale, yeah. That's like, I don't know, 50 minutes from where you are? 45? It depends on the traffic. You can't get it in 40 minutes. Yeah, that's really far for me. Anything beyond 20 minutes drive is far. <laughs> it's for me. Anything, anything beyond 10 minutes is far for me. <laughs> Hey, where is this another? Where are you um, based out? Colma. Oh, okay. Do you know where that is, Ruhi? No. <laughs> so, it's uh, close to San Francisco, South San Francisco area, I think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, Palo Paloma. No, Colma, C O L M A. Oh, okay. Well, let's, fun fact there are more dead people than alive. <laughs> There's over 1.5 million people buried under the ground and there's 15 oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you don't hear any ghosts at night. No. <laughs> don't. Now that leave the computer on your uh, face, like tilt it up a little. You don't need my face, you need the food. A little bit more. You can see it on the other screen, what you're cooking already. 
I am. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to see your beautiful face. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to kick you. <laughs> You know, Nada, last night I started using the blanket again because it was a bit cooler. The blanket that you needed. And then Shahin gave to me, subhanAllah. So may Allah bless both of you. <laughs> so now I know who got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't know? So she said somebody bought it. She didn't say who. Oh, Shahin, I'm sorry. Did I let a secret out? No, you didn't. She knew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, she, she, she told me you told me you're gonna give it to her but i didn't know you bought it oh <laughs> it's not bought it's it's her sadaka jaria okay so Marshall, both of you will get okay. the reward inshallah i mean inshallah it was it was so warm alhamdulillah do you want to do anything listen to sorry you want to do anything listen to knitting um, knitting listen oh me no not really <laughs> i want to so do I'm, gardening that's my passion cooking and gardening you should you yeah. should do a session on gardening yes show us a gardening session i love that so i, I know. know i'm going to if you, toast, if you toast this before you you put it um on the pan. i missed no, that part so before you did it on the pan you didn't toast it you just did direct no, I just toasted it right now. So I'm going to dump it on the rice. Okay, I need to put the phone down. So I'll just, I'm going to turn my, I'm going to put the phone down. We can't see anything. I'm sorry. I, I, will, I will let you, I need, I need uh, another hand to help me, but unfortunately, my daughter is working and my kids are not, uh, the boys are not here, so. That's okay. So what are you doing so, right now? You're putting the vermicelli on the rice? The I'm just putting the vermicelli rice? on the rice. And now I'm going to get the pot ready for the, for the assembly. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna just dry it. I'm going to put butter. If you have ghee, use ghee. I don't have ghee. Yeah, I think I'm way behind because I think I was just following instructions and I all I did was really soak the rice and not, not really cook the rice. So I might be way behind here. Did you cook the rice? I did not cook the rice. I just soaked you it. You don't here. need to cook the rice. Okay, okay, okay. Rice. Good. We just so you're just putting the vermicelli the on the soak, on uh, out of the water. Okay, cool. And put it in a, in a strainer. On, or... on the raw rice. You're putting the vermicelli on the raw rice. Yes. Okay, very good. Oh, and then you're gonna cook the vermicelli with the rice. Now we're we're getting to let's let's keep that to the side first. Okay. Good question. Just let me know if I'm going too fast. Now I'm going to where is it? I put the butter. So the pot that we're putting the vermicelli in. Now, do you want a larger pot to cook the rice in, or just a smaller, medium one that the rice fits in? So now I am going to use the pot that I'm going to assemble everything in. Mine okay. Is, very good. Okay. So in. Try to see how big you need the pot. Like I'm using this this pot. It's it's specific, specific for makluba. Maybe you have something like that for biryani. If you have a non-stick one, will work too. I don't know, Shaheen, how yours came out in the pot you used. But this is what I'm using. So now it's hot. I'm going to put the butter in. And because sorry, I keep asking very many questions. Do you no. want the rice fully you want the rice fully drained? Yes, fully drained. Okay. Like this. I have mine in uh, but not necessarily dry, you just want it drained. Yes. So do you okay. see mine is like uh put it in this strainer and and how much butter do you want in there? Oh uh, maybe a tablespoon. Three, okay. Tablespoon. One or two. One tablespoon, you don't need a lot, just try. So I'm gonna turn it off because I don't wanna burn the garlic. Because the garlic doesn't need a lot to cook. So I'm just gonna make it. I am going to put the garlic. Okay. 
think I need to, to, to put it a little bit. I'm going to put it a little bit because I don't want it raw, raw, I mean. Come on. And you said you prefer ghee in the preparation pot over butter, or does it matter? Whatever you have, butter or okay. ghee. If you, if you have ghee, use ghee, it tastes better. And I think that's it. Now for the fun part, we're gonna turn this off. I need to put the phone down because I need to wash my hands. Just a second. So, everybody at this step, did you guys fry your garlic? Sorry, repeat that one more time. You said fry the garlic? Yes, yeah, so like this. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be brown, just to, well, to get, change the color, get clear, and leave it to, then turn off the stove or take it off the heat. Can you see the pot? Should I move to the next step? Okay, now we're going to assemble everything. I am going to put at the bottom of the pot. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, the piece of the eggplant, I choose the ugly ones, like the end pieces in a piece of the, two couple of pieces of the potatoes, because I don't want it to, like the one the chicken to stick in these, things down here is so much good, like a lot. They are just delicious thing. They're so good. So I'm going to use pieces, I can use in pieces. And this is how I cut my vegetables for me before. But next time it's like oval, not round. And the eggplant is this. Also you can use make it round, but I like it this way. So now I'm going to... Did you soak the eggplant in something? No. Okay, and did you take the skin off the eggplant completely or just leave some of the skin on? I did take off the, uh, the skin. But if you're used to frying it with skin, you can use it. You can keep the skin. But I don't, so just, just put it in salt and let it uh, sweat the water out and dry it before frying it. Now I'm going to put my chicken. I cut my chicken into four pieces and this is how big it is. Because it's gonna melt 
when we cook it, when we boil it, and then we put it in. So it's different than biryani. You want to see the pieces of chicken. And I put it upside down because when I flip it, I want to see the, the, the nice side of it. So I'm going to put my chicken in. Did you keep the skin on, uh, Sister Nada? I took it off. Okay. I, I thought you said you want the most oil and fat. So I cooked the I took off the skin, but I cooked it in the stock. I see. So Nasir, you haven't done anything with your veggie. Are you gonna put it uh, raw then, or should it have been cooked, Sister Nada? The vegetables they should be cooked. Yes. So uh, what if we haven't done that? Like for those who haven't done that, can that follow come later? No, because um, I don't know. I never put them raw. They might cook because you're gonna keep it on the stove for a while, but I never put them raw. I fry my vegetables. If, if he didn't fry them and he wants to fry them, maybe he can just put the chicken and fry them and watch the- Run me through, how, how, I, like I said, I, I probably got too busy and didn't read. What you just deep fried the eggplants? Is that what you deep did? Fried the egg, deep fried the potatoes, eggplant and the cauliflower. Carrots. If you have yeah. carrots too, you can. Sometimes I don't fry the carrots because they don't need frying, but to give them color. You see, Got like it. you want it golden brown. Got and it tastes okay. good, really good when they are fried. So and then there's a question earlier if you could air fry it, Nasir, in case you want to. Musarat asked, and the answer is yes, in case you want to air fry it. Or so you what want to bake it, Musarat? Or if you want it baked, you want it to be so healthy. But again, I, I prefer it fried. I prefer the, the fatty, yeah. good way. Like when you want yeah, it. Masarat, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. I'm a what little are behind. What to do with your veggies? Is, I was so just what curious. Know if you guys want me to slow down. I will slow down. Okay, so I'm actually air frying them and see. Uh, so it's in here being air fried. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it looks like it's baking or frying. It's frying. And then I had these air fried too already. Okay, so you can assemble the chicken right now with us. All right. Well, you, put, on my, you have to put on salt, Sister Nada. Do you have to put salt and on the veggies? You put salt and uh, on your uh, vegetables. Yeah. I put salt and vegetable oil and uh, olive oil. Okay. So okay. For, 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 I'm sorry, for the person that's air frying, how long did you air fry and what temperature? Musarat, can you answer that question? All right, so, I, so my oven has an air frying um, Right, I've been in air fryer, but do a, what, what's the temperature for how long? 400, and then I kind of wing it, so I have the lights on, and I look at the colors. <laughs> did you say 300? 400. But 400. how long? Okay, when did you start? Like 20 minutes, 15 uh, minutes? You no, know, it's less than that. So the, the carrots and the cauliflower, they were done in less than five or six minutes. And I think the eggplant should be done in five minutes. But again, you know, you have to look at the colors and feel it. So I don't have an exact time. Every, every oven is very different. Yeah. So yeah. Let, let me tell you something. Your vegetables don't have to be cooked all the way. As, as long as you just get the color on. All right, that's even I'm gonna finish them in the pot with the rice and the stock. So now I'm, I'm putting all the meat in. I'm going to use beef too, but I boil the beef separate from the chicken. So I make chicken stock and beef stock, mm -hmm. but I'm going to use the chicken stock. I'm going to use beef too with mine. So I'm going to put it over here. Oh, you you adding the beef also with the chicken? Is this another? The, the, the beef is already cooked. I made the stock oh, wow. earlier. This is the beef stock and this is the chicken stock. It's boiling already. Now, if I run out of the chicken stock and I need more water, I don't add water. I just use, I can use the beef stock for like, if I need more. But I think my, my is good enough. I think this is the first dish I see with two meat in it. Oh, we like, we like to mix stuff up. Can you also put lamb or that would be just too much? You can, you can put lamb if you like lamb. So I like it, I like it with both. It's nice. Like, and I like beef. 
How did you flavor the beef? What is it? I said, how did you flavor the beef? The same spices I put on the chicken, I put on the, the beef. You can follow the same recipe for the stock with the... What, can I ask one question? Can I ask one question? Yes. My name is Yasmin. What did you put in, in the boiling chicken and the beef? Did so some... I used cur curry powder, black pepper, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, I use clove, but I cook it inside the onions when I uh, cook it. And I use bay leaf. And there is a mixture of spices. Uh, you can maybe get it from Middle Eastern store. Um, it's called maybe seven spices or something like that. I just put a little bit. I got it from back home. But, okay. But you can also, you don't need to use it. Um, curry, curry powder, um, black pepper, bay leaf, and the onions in the, uh, what is it called? Clove will be enough. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So now I'm going to put the vegetables. Can we do this step or you want me to wait for you guys? Um, uh, okay. Uh, no, you can continue. Okay, so because my kids don't like eggplants and cauliflower, cauliflower, I'm going to separate them. But if your family don't mind it, you can put them mixed. So I'm going to use the use the, what is it called? the eggplant. I'm going to put it on top of the beef because my kids don't like the beef again. So I'll just use this. They like potatoes, my children. So there is a lot of potatoes, not a lot of other vegetables. And I don't have, I didn't have the carrots. We did use carrots a lot. So I forgot to buy them. I'm not using carrots. But if you have carrots, they add nice color. Nobody likes the carrots at my house, so not a big deal. So now I'm going to put the potatoes. You just spread it around, around on top of the uh, I have a lot of potatoes because that's the kids' favorite. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yes. It's a lot of layers. It is, this is the only one. But put it in my, as again, this, this is the kid's favorite. Everybody likes the videos. Could you also do um, zucchini too? No, I did not. We don't add zucchini to Makuba. <laughs> but you can do me if you want to experiment. <laughs> So basically, the original makluba is only you choose one vegetable and make it with it. Most people like cauliflower with the makluba, but because again, different different taste buds, they don't like it. So we use makluba and we mix everything together. I love eggplant and cauliflower. And I like how you are layering it on the side. So I think I put everything. We are like yeah. biryani. So yeah, they, when you so. flip it, it will look nice. I think I have a lot of vegetables. <laughs> yeah, she put it on the sides. So, so when you flip, it will be show. It will show more, right? Yes, it will show more. So yes, like this. Because it's, and I also have a lot. So now we're gonna do the rice. The rice is not supposed to be cooked, only soaked. So I am going to just wash my hands. I am going to use on the, the rice, the turmeric, a little bit, not a lot, because we don't want it to be super real. Um, I have this spices, eight spices, I get it from back home. If you don't have it, that's fine, because it gives really nice flavor. Can we use garam masala? I never tried it because the garam masala is somewhat too spicy and like it's makluba is not supposed to be spicy. It's just it. and um, and this is also makluba spices. You can if you don't have it, you can use curry powder. 
and a little bit of cumin. Because I know, um, what is it called? The cauliflower needs a lot of, needs cumin. So you can use the cumin. Yes, my helper is here. So you can use cumin instead of the can we find the makluba uh, spices um, at like, like an Arab store? Is that something that's commonly sold? Yes, so you can find it actually in the Middle Eastern store. I saw it before. Even samna spices, you can find it in the, or samna is called the, the spices in the Middle Eastern store. Okay, thank you. Now we're gonna, again, I'm gonna mix the rice with all the spices and preservatives. Monserrat, I heard you said, um, Masala is gonna turn into biryani, my friend. Don't make a biryani. All right, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, because I always uh, substitute all spice with garam masala. Mm. Yeah, try yeah. to make it more authentic, but maybe this time you can try if you don't have, right? No, no, I have the curry masala. I put the curry powder in it. Oh, nice. Yeah, the yeah. cumin, I think is what makes it very distinct. Yeah, yeah. So I got the, the cumin, cumin. Yeah, the powdered cumin, yes. Yeah, awesome. So now I'm going to put all everything on top of the rice, the chicken and, and the vegetables, all the rice and the vermicelli. I'm going to add, are you guys are good? Can I go ahead or you want me to wait? Moose, how are you with your I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I'm with, I'm with uh, Nada. Okay, Nasir, are you okay to go ahead or do you need, you're waiting for your veggies? Yeah, I'm way behind. I have no idea where you guys are. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> but you want me to wait or you want me to continue? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not sure what step you're on. So you, if others are following along, I, I think it's probably best you continue. I'll catch up when I can. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know, please. Okay, now I'm going to add the chicken stock. You can leave. Oh, no, I need more stuff. The other one. This one. So you put the. Uh, uh left out of uh, which we the water of that uh, stock chicken stock in the in the rice i put all the chicken stock in the rice so i need a little bit more so i'm going to use my beef stock in it but i'm going to turn on the, the heat all the way all the way on high did i answer my your question sorry uh, yeah i was asking about the chicken stock you are putting on the rice Yes, I put the chicken stock that uh, we prepared earlier on the rice. We did it, we don't use water, we just use the chicken stock. But if you run out of stock and you, you need a little bit more water, you can put those back in the pot, whatever you have in here, and add a little bit water and put it on top. Mm -hmm. So you, you have boiled the rice, right? I did not boil the rice. The rice is just soaked for 30 minutes. Okay. So even when I make biryani, I will not boil the rice. I cook it this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's watch. I was pretty surprised too. I was like, wow, you don't boil at all the rice, but it turned out to be good. Don't well, you try, I man. added extra water. It tastes, it tastes like biryani, right? <laughs> it does taste really good. Okay, so you might be, so you might be 
So basically, you cooking the veg twice, right? This is another one you fry it, and then the second time you cook it with the rice. I didn't know that. I thought you assemble it later. No, my, uh... we cook it twice. Yes. I see. Okay. So because it's fried and it's vegetables that give a lot of flavor to the to the to the rice in the dish. Right. Right. But even if you don't add mm -hmm. a lot of spices to it, it's flavorful. When from all of yeah, the from the broth because you have chicken broth you have veggie broth basically right yes and the veggies too mm. so I need, I need it just to be a little bit hot and i'm gonna use it are you are you heating it right now you, you're starting to cook the rice yeah i put it on high but i'm i need to add more uh, stock i'll show you how much to cover it then i'm gonna cover the whole pot and cook it for how long approximately so i I cook it until it's like when it starts boiling with the rice and the vegetables. I cook it maybe for like five minutes after it boils. Then it turn it on medium low until the water is dry and the rice is cooked. I really don't time it. It might take between 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Here you can time it now. I think I'm just gonna add it. Because you're not supposed to happen to you, Shaheen, it's happening. Because my pot looks like this, so if you're straight, maybe a half an inch. I think this is good. If I need more later, I can just all about put it on the top. I'm gonna cover it. I don't have a cover for this huge pot. So I need so much oil and cover it really well. I didn't put the foil on, Nada. You didn't need a foil if you have a, a, a cover. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. I didn't have a cover. <laughs> like I missed that spot. Now we have a lot of pots that you, they need to be washed. So you guys are gonna see me washing the pots. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so um, now we're just gonna leave it cook. And meanwhile. If anybody has a question, let me know. And now so you're going to fry all the toppings, what? right? This another. What is it? You are going to fry all the toppings, like the almond and other nuts. Uh, yes, you can, but I, you don't add to it. Maybe I'll add today. Usually, I don't. Know. Maybe I'm imagining. So this some people do. Actually, some people do, but I'm not going to add it to my mind because I have a son. This, my son doesn't like it with the nuts. I see. But I will put it to the side. So, but now I'm going to make the, the salad that I we eat with it. We like it with salad and yogurt. Some people like it just like that, and some people like it like us mixed with everything. Okay, I have everything. I'm going to make the salad. I'm not gonna show you how to make the salad. I think everybody knows how to make the salad, right? So I just- Maybe the dressing, if you have a specific dressing. I just add salt to it. That's it? Yeah, because we eat it with the makloba, that's it. Ah, okay. So I have the uh, green onions, tomatoes, uh, Persian cucumbers, 
and I don't know why they're called Persian cucumbers, but that's what the one we use, not the other ones. And parsley. We use parsley, not cilantro in our food. I use it a lot. So I'll show you the cut that I'm going to cut it, how to cut them. But then after that, Usually, while I'm making the makluba, I, I, um, I, while it's cooking, I just make the salad and do the dishes while it's cooking. So I'll just show you the cut. Not supposed to be big cut. Some people even make it finer than this. Are you guys good? Could my wait or you guys are good? Are you guys here? We are being impressed by your cutting yes. skills. That's why I get <laughs> I mean, the rabbits of the one tortilla that much. So, you have any questions? My helper is, is a good helper. She's telling me she be a good teacher and ask. Do you have any questions? Just no? Yep. Good on the salad. Go ahead. Excuse me. Moose, you had a question? Oh, no, no. I said I was good on the salad. I'm okay. Doing okay. So, so it's really finely chopped, yeah? The salad? The, this is a, this is not really fine. This is it's a good small chop. Some people make it even smaller, so yeah, then it became tabule. <laughs> I'm doing it by way. You're doing it what? I'm not accepting the really fine chop. You can do it, you can do that. You can't, you got it. Parsley tastes good with salad. It's kind of like tabbouleh, but less uh, for a uh, tabbouleh. It's made with a lot of parsley and it has the burgol in it. Yeah, and it's very finely chopped. I think it will take forever. Very <laughs> finely chopped. Does take forever. Uh, thank God my kids don't like it. <laughs> yeah, they like that. This another. I have a question actually. Go ahead. The shape of the pan, right? Yours is more like like a bowl. I don't have anything like that. It's more like um, either I have really tall one or a wide one, but it's not too deep. So it's it, okay. It, they work. They work. If you see the pictures that I send you, they actually not mine. I couldn't find any picture of mine. From of my makluba, uh, they are from my sister-in-law and my friend. So if you use any non-stick pan, will be fine. Just make okay. sure it's uh, it fits your uh, all your ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I really like how she's cook, cutting it. <laughs> so you got it, right? So I don't, I'm not gonna finish it because I feel like I'm wasting your time. But if you want me to finish it, I'll finish it. We have time. So do you want me to finish the salad or do right, something so you're else? With other people? Yeah. You're getting... I have something planned. Okay, I, I don't know who's asking question. Sister Nadayo asking us. 
Yes, I'm asking, I'm asking you guys, do you want me to continue the salad or do something else? What else are you going to do? I was going to make hummus to show you how to make my hummus. Oh, yeah, hummus, because salad, I think we all know how to cut, right? Start. <laughs> and if it's yeah. only adding salt, that's simple. Yeah, hummus. Would I know be you guys good. don't have the ingredient for hummus, but if you're going to share the video so they can see it. Yeah, and it's easy to, to write it down. Yeah, over. usually I just buy hummus from Trader Joe's but or Good. whole foods but if you can make it from scratch i'm sure it's better don't yeah. buy sabra please please don't buy sabra no not sabra i just bought from trader joe's it's not That's good i'm happy about that <laughs> nada i have one question for you go ahead where do you, where do you buy your zatar from i know i got the best i got was from palestine from hebron but since oh. then i i don't have any more where do you get it locally so I, again, I that like you, I get it from back home. But if you don't, usually Middle Eastern stores these days they have, uh, they have. What's a good brand? I'm not sure. Maybe Ziad. Okay. Any any. Or Middle okay. East if they. Oh, go back to go back to Jerusalem. I know. <laughs> that yes. Let's do it all together. Yes. yes. I you know I, I have a funny story. I got mine from 2017. I uh -huh. still have it in the kitchen. I don't use it very much. Oh my God. Yeah, That's my crazy. family's not too crazy about Zatar, but I put it sometime on almond or on pita bread. It's really amazing. So what I, I, I would do crazy with it. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do, I just put it in a piece of toast. Yes. A paste with it, with the, uh, with the olive oil mm -hmm. and put it in the oven and toast it and very good breakfast. Oh, wow. Yeah. What are you showing now? Zatar. On what? On, on bread. Slice bread. <laughs> <laughs> You're distracting her. So I, if you if you don't have if you don't have the um, dry chickpeas, you can use cans. Just uh, drain it. Drain the can. Uh, wash it and then put uh, water on it and boil it uh, for like until it boils. And then we, you start the process I'm about to start doing. So I already soaked my uh, chicken last night and uh, I boiled them in the morning. So if you buy the dry one, you soak it for let's say half an hour, how long do you cook it? No. You soak it for, uh, for overnight. Overnight, okay. Yeah. But of course, if you're using the instant pot, you can just put them in the instant pot. But I like it even with the instant pot. I like it to soak it overnight. Tastes better. I don't know. So I'm just going to put some in here, like the measurement of a uh, of two cans. Okay. What is that white thing on the? This is from the because if you if you make it get in regular pot. Oh yeah. Okay. This is from because the the chickpeas has protein. This is from the protein. This is get you get rid of this. So I'm just gonna put measurement over here. Two cans. You use uh, uh, one the juice of one lemon. Her hummus is killing. I have never bought it after. So, mashallah. Sorry. I have my lemon juice for you. Did, my lemon juice. Did you say lemon juice? You put lemon juice? Lemon. Not lemon. Uh, yes, lemon juice. You okay. squeeze two lemons uh, or one lemon for the two cans, one lemon, like big size, large one. And I'll put it on top. If you have the Vitamix or Ninja, doesn't doesn't matter the order you're doing it. But you have to have it the uh, old brands. I think you should start with the lemon first. And I forgot how I used to do it. <laughs> and then with the, the chickpeas and the tahini. So the honey, you need to mix it really well because it settles down and the sesame seed will be on top. 
And the tahini has flavor or just pure tahini? Pure tahini. Okay. Yes, this one. Okay, let me just wait for my helper. Come on. How much you put the any sauce? How much you put? Uh, tahini, I, I really don't measure. So you, I just, okay. give you let's say uh, one fourth of a cup. Okay, thank you. Oh. That's my tahini, that's my measurement. That's how I measure it. It just approximate, I guess, right? What did so, you say? Yes, yeah. approximate. Like my mom, when my mom cooks, like, I don't know, just, you know, approximate. <laughs> Everything is approximation, no, no precision. <laughs> so you told me three tablespoons, right, Nada? Tahini? Three tablespoons for one can, I think. You said, yeah, one can. Yeah. Oh, one can? Oh. I'm not sure. So I need to add salt. I thought they added salt to mine. Oh, this doesn't have salt. Oh. I'm gonna add the salt. And I like to add, uh, what is it called? Olive oil, a tablespoon, not a lot. Because when you serve it, you put some. And put a little bit of the water, from the boiling water in, slowly, not all, the, not, not all of it, and what we adjusted when we. Uh, You're right. One one right. can. Yeah. It was from one can, three tablespoon of tahini. Okay, so maybe a, a, a quarter of a one fourth of a cup if it's uh, two cans. Let me check the measurements. One fourth. Yeah, or two third of a cup. So now I'm going to start. I'm going to mute myself because it's going to be too loud. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. So I'm going to check. It seems that it needs more water, more of the boiling water, and I will. Did you not put any olive oil in there yet? I did. Oh, you did. Okay. What about garlic? You didn't add any garlic. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, I have the perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the garlic part, and I'm like, maybe she no it or no, I forgot it. Thank you for reminding me. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> That's what it's missing. Also, I didn't get the uh, how long you should boil. You boil it until it's breaking oh. apart, or it's still still it's soft. Do you see how soft it is? Like this. Okay. If you're using the instant pot, so what I use is uh, on manual for uh, thirty minutes, then let it uh, natural release. I see. Okay, half an hour so okay, overnight soaking, half an hour cooking. Yeah, I'm gonna mute myself again. How's the rice? Is cooking well? Yes. How is the okay, rice think, cooking well? Okay, I think my vegetables are ready. Can you run me through a quick yes, catch up of on what I need to do here? So I've, yes. got, I've got the vegetables cut. I've got them cooked. They're good to go. I've got the ghee and I've got the garlic browned. I've got the chicken ready and I've got the broth ready. So uh, assemble your chicken, put the chicken on top of the garlic. Okay. Okay. Skin side down? Uh, yes. Okay. Done. Then you're going to put your vegetables on top. Thank 
Now you're making me hungry, Nada. Yeah, you didn't eat from yours? Shaheen? I did. <laughs> the vegetables have been added? But not as much. I ate a little bit <laughs> since I was traveling. So now you mix the vermicelli with the rice. Oh, mix it all up, okay. So don't put them to the don't put them to the on the chicken yet. Yes, put okay, mix them good. together and okay. add the spices. You can add curry powder, a turmeric, a little bit of turmeric, not a lot of turmeric. Okay. And into the rice. Into the rice and mix them together too. And maybe a little bit of cumin. I'm cumin, sure. curry powder, and uh, turmeric. Got it. And a little bit of cumin, just maybe a pinch. I'm pretty sure you don't have makluba spices over. I don't. No, unfortunately not. So, mix them really well. Now we're going to add all this to the, on top of the chicken. So you add one thing with the rice, uh, vermicelli is also with the rice. What is it there again? Sorry, I didn't hear you. You add vermicelli with the rice or yes. only the vermicelli is also? Yes, I put the vermicelli with the rice and the spices and mix them really well. Then I put it on top of the chicken and vegetables. Yeah, and other spices in the rice and then lay, make the layer on the vegetable and the chicken, right? Yes. And then after that, we need to put the chicken broth and everything. Yes. And cover it with the foil. Yes. yes. No, you don't need a foil is if you have a, a cover for your pot. Yeah, but I think foil, it's daily help. The steam doesn't come out and it cooks well, right? Yes, but if you have a really good cover, it's, it works perfectly. For my other pot, I don't use the foil. Okay. For the smaller one. So, but vermicelli is with the rice. This is first time I'm I, I, I'm come to know about it. We use it a lot in our cooking. So I'm going to check on my uh, here like crackling. Can you, show, can you show me what type of vermicelli you are using it for the rice? So I use this, I used to use this one. I get them from Middle Eastern store and this one. Yeah, which, which one? This one and this one. I, do, I cannot see, you need to come on the video. I didn't I didn't the video? Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't see. You, you I need have to bring the it video, I have, I have it on my phone too. Okay, this so one. I'm on both, and I'm on both cameras. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. And, and all right. So I'm checking on my rice. I think it's good. I'm going to turn it on medium, and I'm going to rotate my 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 uh, pot because my stove is like leaning down. We can get this vermicelli at Mediterranean store, right? Yes. Can you see my camera? Yes, I can see. Yes, I can see it. Yes, I can see, you it. see the other one, the rice. Yes, this is the rice. Yes. All right. I've got I've got the spices mixed in the rice and the vermicelli. Yeah. Now we are going to put it on top of the chicken. Okay. And all of it. And all the vegetables and everything, right? Okay. Yes. All right. The rice has been put. And now we are going to um, put the chicken stock if it's boiling, right? Your chicken stock. Yes, is boiling. it is. You're you're going to put it strain it though. 
I it's already been strained, already, already strained earlier. Okay, good. So you can add it on top. Just if you're using a um, straight pot, about half an inch, like this much above the rice. Oh, okay, got it. So it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of stock. I thought it would be like uh, really f much more than half an inch. Wait, you want you want the rice completely the, covered in the stock, right? Is that what you said? Yes. Half, half an inch, inch above. above the rice. Mm. Okay. Can you can you show me your pot if you go on? I'm sorry. Was that for me? Did you ask you me? You want me to show? Yes, you want to show. Oh, I, yeah, I think so. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So spread it and make it, to, and then put the stock on top. Okay. You use a straight, so maybe like just a little bit. Maybe even if it's not half an inch, maybe a quarter an inch. Yours is all the way to the brim, Sisanada. Like the rice, I could see is like all the way to the top now. Okay. Right? <laughs> yes. It's almost overflowing. Hey, Sister Nada, my rice looks really good. Let me show you. Yay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> did you, oh, nice. Did you, did you turn the volume down after it boiled? Yes, I did. Now I think yours might be done. Maybe check, check the rice if it's cooked. It is cooked. I checked. Okay, then cover it and let it sit with the on with the steam. If okay. there is water in it too. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. Maybe shake it. So what do you do like with us? Gonna flip it, right? Yes. The flipping, I cannot wait, and I want everyone to take pictures. Oh my god! The top. <laughs> but, but the thing I can't flip mine yet because it's not cooked. All right. Yeah. Can you, I mean, you have to wait how long after it's cooked? Is this uh, good? Is this good? Is this dish okay for flipping? So let me show you what you have to do. So okay, it has to be flat. Okay, let me find a flat one then. I'll show you mine. Let me just open it, take it out of the. Oh man, I think my broth was just enough. <laughs> I think and you could add water too, right? If you need. Is that water. correct? Let me see. Uh, I think so. Let me. Can you can you put it in him? And yeah okay can i see it again oh yeah it's good cover it and let it boil for like five minutes then put it on medium low or low okay cool now Basically, trying to find a lid is always the challenging part right to match the then use what i did use the, the foil, foil. That's it. use the foil like her <laughs> Thanks, Deanne. Look what I found. This might work. Yeah, but I think the act of flipping itself is a challenge. I've never done that before, but I've seen okay. people flip it. So I'm going to use this one. Like a tray. The tray should go on top of the pot like that. It has to cover it. Because when you flip it, you just, you're just going to hold it from the Like a cake. And flip. Yes, exactly like a cake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what if it's heavy you could do it on your own or you have to get people to help you yes sometimes you have to get people to help you that's why i use this one that has a lot of like edge yeah we'll catch it, slides, right? it slides it slides inside it and make sure i'm top of, i'm next to the table so i just immediately do it okay so it. one more question go ahead the the spices that we strained all of the earlier stuff from the broth, does that go back in or just no, discard it? We just okay. throw it away. So back to the hummus, I think it is good enough the consistency like this. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more actually and run it a little bit more. I'm going to mute myself.
So it's good enough and it's ready to serve. Like this. So I even add like one jalapeno to the hummus. I don't add jalapeno. <laughs> She's going to be like. Okay, hummus originally doesn't have jalapeno, doesn't have roasted peppers, doesn't have uh, avocados, doesn't have anything else. It's just garbanzo beans, tahini and lemon. And garlic. I agree. <laughs> we, can't, we have to convince our daisy tongue, right? Taste buds. If you like it spicy, you can add shatta to it. I use this one. I know it's not shatta, but it's exactly like the one we use, a uh, Middle Eastern one. And also the makluba. If you want it spicy. Is that a garlic sauce? It's a chili sauce. What is it called? Sambal. Sambal, a uh, ground fresh chili paste. That's Indonesian, by the way. If it's sambal, it's Indonesian. It is made. Where it is made at? I buy it from uh, the Asian. So I buy it from the Pacific Super. I like it. It's exactly like uh, our uh, shatta. Yeah, that's Indonesian origin. Okay. Hey, I'm happy. Indian. I love sambal oleg on every Right? <laughs> so I add it to my hummus when I eat it. I add it to my makluba when I eat it. And I add also jalapenos, jalapenos to my plate, not to the whole dish. Yeah, you can cut up, I think. That's awesome. Pickled jalapenos, not the regular ones. Uh -huh. Moss, are you ready to flip? I am, but I'm going to wait for Nada. Yeah, oh, we're going to wait a long time. <laughs> you have to wait until it's cooler a little bit, or you can do it tonight. I am, for me, if you guys are waiting for me, I'm not going to wait. I'll flip it once it's done, but mine is not done because I have a lot in there. Check yours. Mine is done. Mine is completely done. My rice is done. I could eat it. Because <laughs> you have, because you have a <laughs> I made three cups, and my cup is not a regular cup. How many cups did you make um, for the rice mousse? That's my cup. Say that again. How many cups of rice did you make? Two? Yeah. And That's you, Nasir? Say that again. Nasir. Can someone tell her that's not one cup? <laughs> Shaheen, how many cups are you going to be making? So now they're asking me to help I made, made it this morning. Nada actually made it for me. And she gave me the rice. She was so kind, mashallah, because uh, she uses Uncle Ben. And which one? Nada? Calrose. Yeah. Calrose. So, wait, Shaheen, you already made your maklube? I did, yes. Where did, you, where did the picture? Did you take pictures? I will send it to you. I didn't get the chance to flip it. Maybe when I get home, I'll flip it. Oh, inside. how can you not flip it? If I make it, I that would be... The... <laughs> Trust me, the book, because it was so huge, because uh, it's a lot. I guess I get I took two chicken. Oh, so it's, wow. uh, it's in a big a huge, pot. Huge one. Yeah, so it's a big pot, so I need something to flip it in. So I was trying to find that, but I couldn't find it. I had to leave. Okay, well, I want pictures when it's done. Academy. Well, if anything, I'll just send you the pictures of my fried veggies, but I will. <laughs> no, I don't want fried veggies. <laughs> Not acceptable. I want a final product, okay? <laughs> that I had to remind me like 10 times it's not biryani. <laughs> yeah, not biryani. All right, so it's been about, I've, I've boiled it on high for about five minutes. Did you say now turn, turn, it, turn it down? Two, yeah, medium low. I'll finish okay. my salad while you guys are waiting for me. And how long am I boiling on medium low? I'm sure it's in the instructions, but I'm not reading that. <laughs> Until it's cooked. I don't Until really it's time. See if it's 20 minutes, the maybe. Water? No, sir. The water is gone mm -hmm. and it's really cooked. And then you leave it on top, like with the lid on for like 10 minutes. If you just want to flip it, you can't flip it. Okay. So you're, you're not cooking it one last time to crisp the rice at the end. So you're no. cooking for 20 minutes, you're waiting until it's gone, and then you let it, then you turn off the heat, and then you let it just sit and cook in itself for about 10 minutes, or steam yeah. out, and yeah. then you flip. Yes. Okay. I, I'm going to get my dad to help me flip. Oh, <laughs> uncle. <laughs> 
yeah. he's very excited about the global walk now he's going to help yeah. with the food yeah <laughs> <laughs> She's talking to my sisters there. I know you want Indonesian food. One day I'll come and cook you Indonesian food, inshallah. Yes, my please. Right there. <laughs> there she is. All right. Inshallah. So we're going to flip. Oh, I don't want to record it. It's cool. We want to see it. Yes, we do. Awesome. We want to see the flipping, Moose. Okay, all right. Okay, <laughs> 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 You are making, you are cutting the tomato for uh, decorate the rice biryani. What you made? No. We eat it with the we eat it with the salad. Uh, this is salad you are cutting. Okay. Yes. We eat it with salad. All salad. right. You eat it with that rice, right? Okay. Okay. All right. So did I miss the part where it was flipped? Did you guys flip it already? I did not flip mine. You didn't spit. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have one. One. <laughs> that's the highlight. I know. I know. And my niece runs in. Did you already <laughs> flip it? No. The flipping is like the. We flipped final it, but I don't know how successful we were. Hey, good job! It has to be in the center. Okay, we're moving <laughs> it to the center. <laughs> You're moving it to the center. It's centered. Don't don't worry. It will go into the center too. Anyway. Yeah, Afterwards. it's it's in the center. And it's mm. in the center anyway. And Moose, I want picture, okay, Moose? I will send a picture. Excellent. Yeah. And Nasir, yeah. I also want your picture. Oh, uh, Nada, should I put pine nuts over it to look, make it? Uh, I don't have pine nuts. I have almonds. Can I just put almonds? Yes. yes. Um, yeah. And you know, I'm like itching to put saffron on it. Should I? You can if you want to. You guys do that? Yeah. Saffron is for you. You have to No, no, it's ready. It's ready to eat. Now you can eat it. Let us know how it tastes. Do you, do you like it? I want to take the take a picture first. <laughs> show, show, show the thing on camera. Most. Where did she go? <laughs> gado gado. Um, yeah, my mom wants you to make gado gado. Oh my goodness, that's the difficult one. I'll get the recipe from my mom. I can yeah, make nasi goreng. I can make me goreng. That's easy. But I think gado that gado should be the next um, cooking session, Diane. Should be. Oh my goodness. Indonesian <laughs> cooking. Yeah, gado gado is amazing. It's a salad with peanut yeah. sauce. It's one of the. I don't know, very popular. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of assembly, but we can do it. I mean, you, you guide us and we can do it. Okay, inshallah. That is your dish. I want to see the dish. Video nahi hai. Video nahi hai. Okay. 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 And you put lemon and juice and black pepper and salt, right? No, no. We don't put black pepper in our salad, but for this, just we put salt. But for regular salad, I usually, when I'm making regular salad, for example, if I'm making it just for a side dish, I put lemon juice, um, 
I put uh, no lemon juice, uh, um, olive oil, salt, and I like to use uh, pomegranate molasses. It really gives okay. it a nice taste. Mm. Yeah. Different kinds of salad, not this kind. Okay. Like maybe arugula salad. Uh, Different salad, right? Yeah. And I like to, my kids, we started adding uh, walnuts to the salad. It's good. By the way, the original word salad is Arabic word. In Arabic, it's called salata. And the meaning of that's just mixed up stuff together. Mm. Okay. So whatever you put, whatever you make, you can make whatever you want to add to your salad. You can add, it's just mixed up. With you know, salad. I really like to uh, fatouche from yeah, Syria. It's really good. Oh my goodness. That salad is one of my favorites. And then green papaya salad. From oh, I love room. that. I oh, it's so good. From, from the store, what is it called, Moon? The one shut down? Bags and Tie, the one in San Francisco. Oh, they got shut down? They, yeah, they closed oh. down a time ago. And it was so sad because it's just, it just knew about it. And I was like, we we loved it. And yeah. I hope the green papaya salad tried to make it, it wasn't the same. The yeah, thing. you can buy uh, from non-halal too, because it's just, you know, vegetable, but the dressing is the key, right? Yeah. I would crave that salad a lot and fatouche. Those are my two favorite salads. Anybody yeah. who can teach us fatouche would be awesome. Yeah, I can teach you. We should, you yeah. should have told me I would have made fatouche today. Oh, no. You, when you make fatouche, I'm coming, okay? I'm coming over. <laughs> <laughs> Mus, did you also make salad? Musarrat, where are you? Yes, I made salad. I made salad. I'm taking pictures now, so I'm trying to put awesome. you know, like you ready for dinner soon. Does it take pictures? Huh? You are ready for dinner soon. We eat early dinner, but Mac is working. He's working till seven. Oh, so you're gonna wait until seven to eat this maklube? No, I'm gonna eat it right now. <laughs> so you know what you can do? Get a bowl. Mm -hmm. Get a bowl, put the piece of okay. the chicken at the bottom, put some vegetables okay. on, and okay. then put the rice, and mm -hmm. then put the rice, and then get another uh, plate and okay. food. Okay. Oh, nice. Food. And now we have a, a personal makluba. Awesome. awesome. I think I like your idea. Yeah, yeah because otherwise it looks like leftover, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. My mom used to make us like that. When we have leftovers, she just put it for us. Nice. Make it like us for that, like that. So, it's personal makluba. All right, I'm sending it to you, Deanne. I just said awesome. I just watched Thank that you, my to friend. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm gonna wait for Shaheen to send hers and Ruhi when you make yours, and Khala Yasmin also when you make yours. Please send to me so we could show yeah. people. Sure. Please share the picture. Yeah. Share, share the pictures with me. No, of course, yeah. that's why I want to put it on Facebook so that people can see the result, right? Yeah, and Nasir, sure. are you going to send me yours too? Yeah, today I didn't, I, I have no preparation, but next time whenever I'll join, because uh, it was difficult for me to join for the link, then finally I got it. But uh, next time I'll get prepared with everything. So yeah. whenever I do this, I'll send you the picture, Diane. Okay, wonderful. All right, can I tell you guys, it's yummy. It's really, really good. Oh, show us, show us. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's Bye, it's... Yeah. Oh, it's so mouth-watering. <laughs> it is mouth-watering, really, yeah. I wish you were nearby, I would have come, but you were in Sacramento, that's like two hours drive. <laughs> I know. We should do like a, a picnic sometimes in, in the central centralized area and everybody brings their best food. Yeah, good idea. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, we, we can set up next month, any, any time, whenever people are ready to do that. Yeah. And the park is good because you're not inside. So we'll think of something, inshallah. Inshallah. 
Nasir, Nasir, how is your eyes? Nasir, how's your eyes? You're on mute. It's um, it's it cooking? looks really good. Um, awesome. But it's still cooking. Yeah, when you're done, I want you to also send me pictures of the final product, please. Yeah, I will. Inshallah. I hope the kids will like it. And the sliding thing. I hope so. Yeah. What time I is it in your place? Is six thirty? Six. It's six thirty here. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect for dinner. Yeah. Well, we've got a huge barbecue going next door, so everyone's over there. So. Oh. I think I'll, I'll take this over there, and if this doesn't turn out good, at least a barbecue oh, I'm is sure a good backup. I'm sure it'll yeah. be awesome. Ruhi, when are you planning to cook yours? This weekend? Well, it's already weekend. Like tomorrow or next weekend? Maybe next weekend because we gotta get the cowrose rice and um, some of these ingredients. Yeah. The salad. And and the spices. I gotta make sure I got the right spices. Awesome. Send me the pictures after. Oh, yeah, I know sure. some people make it with the um basmati rice i never tried it but i like it with the the, the, the mix i use what rice do you use i use the, the uncle ben and cal rose back home we use the egyptian rice and we use it a lot in our food Mo mostly we cook with it the egyptian rice uh, do you think jasmine rice will work no jasmine rice has a very, very strong flavor so do, what did you what did your rice take you today? What rice? The Egyptian I mean, rice? No, I used calrose. I didn't like the Egyptian rice that they have here at the stores. Mm -hmm. So I just used calrose and um, what's the other one? Uncle, Uncle ben. ben. Here they use a lot of Uncle Ben. I, when I came here, um, I found out they use Uncle Ben a lot for I've a, never seen for it. dishes. What's that again? I've never seen that, that brand, but I usually get uh, from Costco, they have this amazing sushi rice. Um, I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll try. They oh, have wow, I didn't have sushi rice. They yeah, have it's amazing. Rice. So tasty. They have calrose, calrose at uh, Costco. I get Costco. mine from Costco. Okay. Uh, do you want to see the package for them? For the rice? Yeah. No, I think I've seen that brand, Calros. Yeah. Yeah. So I have different kinds of rice. I have brown rice, a basmati rice, I have Uncle Ben. I have a little bit of jazz. You like a little catering business right there. <laughs> I have um what else? Um, I have the long different different brands of long grain rice. The one I don't have and I want to try it uh, called uh are boiled rice. I never tried it, but I think they use it here in the Middle Eastern dishes. If you ever been to Lo Lo Lotus in uh, South San, San Bruno, I think they use it in their dishes. What's it called, the place? Lo Lotus It's a Middle Eastern store. They're really good. Oh, it's a store, not a restaurant? No, no it's a restaurant. Sorry, it's a, a restaurant. restaurant. Okay, no, I haven't tried that. It's too far for me to go there. When you come to this area, you should try it. Inshallah. Maybe you should take her there. We should, maybe, <laughs> should have dinner, lunch there, maybe one day. Okay, I must um, yeah, I depart, so. in, but this was really, really fascinating, really nice. I'm excited to try this, inshallah. Inshallah. And your salad looks also very nice and colorful. Thank you. Only like four ingredients. Her salads are always fresh, inshallah. She gets it from farmer's market too. Nice. Oh, not these, not these ingredients. Actually. Yeah, I get some heirlooms tomatoes from farmers market, so I'm gonna make that for dinner. This salad and and some Persian cucumbers. So I have all that. But no cilantro, right, sister? What is it? No cilantro. You said no parsley. Cilantro. cilantro is very strong. We don't use it in our cooking. How about mint? Can I add some mint because I have a lot of mints in the garden? You you can you can add mint. But I don't awesome. add mint to my salad. Because I don't have parsley. I'm not, not going to go to the store just to get parsley. So I'm going to replace it. And we always, I always, you should, you should plant it. I always have parsley. How do you plant parsley? Huh? How do you plant it? Just buy it. They sell it at Trader Joe's. I bought mine from Trader Joe's. I have really? it outside. I've never seen, I have basil, I have thyme, oregano, sage, but I can, I never found parsley. 
So my daughter is gonna show you my parsley plant. I bought it from Trader Joe's and it's really nice. Nice. Next time I'll, I'll look it up. So I assume that you can see it in the camera. So. Oh, nice. Look at that. It looks very happy. Yeah, I was like, uh, um, one died when I tried, put it in a different pot and it died. So I got another one. Because I like to have it. I always buy it. I have I like to have it at home. But yeah. then always I forget about it and it goes bad. So now I have the plant whenever I need it. Yeah, I'm going to definitely plant one too. And uh, you can also buy it and freeze it, freeze as well. But I, I don't, don't like I don't like freezing anything, especially herbs. I like it fresh. Yeah, the same here. But you can't use it. The thing is that you can't use it in the salad when it's frozen. You can or cannot? You cannot. Yeah, that's why I don't want. It's only for cooking. I have yeah. dried one also I don't like at all. I only use it, you know, sparingly. So I like to use dry mint uh, when we, we make cucumber salad. We like to eat our biryani with cucumber mint, with cucumber uh, yogurt salad. And it tastes good with uh, the dry mint. It tastes better than the fresh one with the cucumber salad. Oh, really? The yogurt uh, cucumber salad. Good to know. I got your picture, Moose. It looks really nice. Sorry. I'm gonna check on mine. Sorry it took so long, but that's how long it takes. Hey, sorry, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. a lot. I said, so Masarat, I got your picture. It looks yummy. It is yummy. I'm eating it right now. My <laughs> eating it. And it's really good. All the uh, Thank you. together. Yes. In fact, I was missing the vermicelli next, but I was just thinking I'm gonna make this and then have some of my friends come over. You know, just one dish like this. Yeah. Mm. It has everything, right? Protein, yeah. vegetables, everything. Yeah. She made another, it the healthy way. She another, the air fried it. Yeah. The air fried is really good. It turned out really, really good. I'm sure the fried one would be better, but this is, <laughs> yeah. it's all cooked and it's, um, it's yummy. Yeah. Mm. I'm waiting for Nada to flip her dish. Sister Nada? I am. I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm saying, I, I was going to ask. Can you ask your daughter, what's her name, Noor? Noor, yes. Can you ask Noor to take a video of you while you flip it? Sure. That way we see it in action. Put some more pressure on you. <laughs> so you need to go get your phone. I will have this one. If it's easy and convenient. She can do it. She because can. this recording is too long. I, I cannot use put this for our um, Facebook, right? This is going to be for people who signed up but couldn't yes. join we can send the link but yeah. i'll put some highlights on on facebook so people see what we do is it's fun for everyone try not to show me in order the, the video <laughs> no just the when you were flipping it just the action so i wouldn't wait 10 minutes but i will flip it Oh, is it supposed to be like you have, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes after? We usually, we usually don't wait. We flip it and start eating. Yeah. Why would you wait? Like for me, I would flip it right away. <laughs> because it absorbs all the, the oil and the, the stock that ah. we have left over. Even if it's like not gone all the way, the, the rice will absorb it and then just sits better. It will look yeah. more. Maybe it will be more cohesive, otherwise it will fall apart. If yeah. You do it too soon, it will fall apart. Yes. Okay. I don't care. I really I don't care if it's fall apart. As long as it's good. <laughs> we care about the taste. Okay. I'm going to flip it. All right. Bismillah. I need another. I need another towel. Where are you going to flip it? No, over here. You just need to empty everything because I don't want. No, 
So it has a lot of uh, stock. So if I let it sit, this would have gone. Yeah, I see now it fits perfectly between the pot and the tray. So I'm just going to show it to you. I'm going to put it back because I want it to. Nice. And I'm going to put it back so it will absorb it. And are you are you going to put some toppings? You said you're not, right? I'm not because my uh, son doesn't like it, and he's okay. that's his favorite. Drum roll! Drum roll! Drum roll. Ready? It's another. Nasir is asking you a question. Yes, go ahead. What do you think? Yes? No? Is that good? If it if it goes on top of your pot and covers all of it, then yes. It does. Okay, yes. I just want to make sure it's deep enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. I just, yeah, if it's if it's perfectly right on top, they're like it was like made for it. Good. Yeah, but can you flip the the rice without it falling outside? Yeah, yeah, be, yeah I think so because I've got handles on on the side of this pot that go right outside of the lip of this, so I can hold the handles and flip it. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, but if, okay. yeah, maybe you can try it unless if you have a bigger. Your one. concern. You okay. have a bigger one, that's it. You have a bigger one. Okay, I'll look for the, I'll, I'll look for a bigger one. Because the 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 the, the so the what is it called? The tray should cover the, the pot completely. Completely. It does. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. My my mother in law has brought something else over. I don't know if this one is better. Maybe you try to see, but it has to with the with the with the handles with the handles. <laughs> we are in suspense now. Now said we are in suspense. <laughs> It's a tricky part to find a, a good uh, tray that fits on top of it. Is it? I think we. I think we found the perfect tray. I think we'll see. And is it? I'm just not sure. I'm not that that I can't tell. So it's been cooking for. Um, it's been cooking for. 25 minutes. You should taste, taste it. Taste the rice. Two, two cups of rice for 25 taste minutes. The taste the you rice. Taste the rice. Taste it. Taste it. Chief is cooked. All right. There we go. <laughs> Bismillah. Yeah. It's delicious, but it's still wet. It's really wet, but it's but really good. Cooked? It's cooked. It's perfectly cooked. So um, you, if you want to, you can keep it for like 10 minutes. It will absorb it all the liquids. Otherwise, if you're in a hurry, you just can't flip it. Even if you flip it, it will still will absorb the liquids. So turn, off, turn it off and leave it for 10 minutes or leave the heat on? Let, no, turn it off. Turn it off now. Okay. Yeah, rice. the rice is completely soft. Yeah, you can. You can turn it off. Let me have a check now. Everything else is cooked, so the only thing you're cooking is the rice. The vegetables are cooked for sure, and chicken is cooked. Okay, all right. Hey ladies, I have to take off.
but this Thank was you, part Shaheen. Of yeah we're gonna wrap up soon inshallah well. right but this is very Hi. nice Hi. to learn thank you for joining you. and inshallah thank you we'll just wait for nasir to flip and then we can uh, wrap up inshallah Moose, how is did you have seconds? Oh, yes. So, this is, I'll, see the picture, I'll show you live or what's happening. Thinking you're right so now. quiet, I'm sure you're like just having, uh, you know. Look how much it's on. Can you see? Yeah, mashallah, that's awesome. Right, and, and my mom likes it. <laughs> Auntie, how are you? Yeah. Fine, thank you. Why are you wearing glasses? You're so stylish. <laughs> she had her cataract surgery uh, <laughs> to I miss couple you, of years Auntie. ago. <laughs> Shala, will, will, are you staying in Sacramento for some time? Oh, they leave, they leave October 2nd. Oh, okay, wow. Where, to yeah. Pakistan? To Florida for a few Florida. days and then, and then Pakistan, yeah. Oh, wow, inshallah. May the surgery is doing well? Your eyes yeah. are recovering? Up the yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Suda, Suda bike, Suda bike. Suda bike, yeah. <laughs> you look very stylish in the glasses. I thought, why are you wearing it it's indoors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I get okay. it. Okay, so uh, Sister Nada, Diane, thank you so much. We enjoyed it. I love this dish. I think I'm going to make it for my friends now. Mm. That's wonderful. I'm so okay. glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. I'll be seeing so, you. Inshallah. After such a long time. I so hope we meet it. soon. Inshallah. Maybe in San Francisco we can meet and meet let's, with Sister Nada too. Let's do that. I think I'll be, yeah. once they, my parents are gone, you know, I'll have more time. We can plan something October, November, right? Yeah, in the city. Uh, yeah, they were centralized. Inshallah. Awesome. All right. All right. All right. Thank you so, so much, much. everyone. I leave so now. Mm -hmm. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Thank you for Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm. Sister Nada, do you have to go? Or do you want to wait until Nasir flipped? Um, no, I'm in the do kitchen. It. That's what I want. I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, you saying? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, I think the timing works for us because um, three o'clock and then Asar is just, yeah. I think Asar is in five. So we have, I think it's a good time if we want to do this again. Yes, inshallah, sure. Hala Yasmin, if you have to go, you, you know, you're welcome to stay, but, you know, feel free to leave if, if you have to go. And no, I will just see how Nasir had done. Awesome. Yeah, stay. <laughs> yeah, I really like that dish. So I wanted to cook next time. Wonderful. So. Yeah, I cook for my family. Inshallah. Uh, inshallah. So I wanted to see how he presents. Yeah, no, you're welcome to stay. We are all in suspense waiting for, <laughs> for the final product. But at least yeah. one of your students has done it successfully, Sister Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Today's, uh, today's, uh, uh, today, what I joined is the credit goes to my daughter. Urfa, you know Urfa and for Of course, of course I know yeah, that. My daughter, she joined, makes me join. She knows I'm very fond of cooking. No, wonderful. She, yeah. <laughs> so the hummus, Sister Nada. Yes. The hummus, if we make it like homemade like this, how long will it last? Like, because there's no preservatives or anything, right? Just a few days? Uh yeah depends like if you put in the fridge usually because i saw that you made it a lot but you maybe also finish it because you have a big family actually none of my kids eat it so yes you <laughs> yeah my husband eats it yeah i have people coming over later so yes that's what i made it oh well, i see it's like how you, we bought the small one from trader joe sometimes it sits in the fridge for like 
you know it depends oh, on how good is your fridge maybe it will last a week if you don't double like just open it a lot yeah and don't put any bread in it so there it might last a week it depends okay let's say like three to yeah. five days better yeah, I, I just make a low quantity first and then yes take it from there it, it lasts for a week i think we we got 10 days okay yeah and then do you put anything else like when you serve it you put olive oil so, yeah put? olive oil olive oil and made, made decorated with some people use sumac some people use i use i use paprika okay and i like yeah. it with pickles and the shelter yeah. of course the, the... sumac i think will be nice to put on top just for decoration yeah you know what really upsets me there is this restaurant called um here, I think it's called Orient or something like that. And they claim that hummus is Israeli. I'm like, please, what else are you going to claim to be yours? You know, one of my parents at the school asked me about a dish and she told me about how to make Israeli falafel. And I was so angry. I told her, we can't <laughs> call it Israeli falafel. <laughs> Palestinian. They stole everything, even our food. Yes. And the Tatris too. Yes. Right? Yes. Allah. You want to do a Tatris session? You know how to do that? Yes, I know. Oh my God. That would be, but what are we going to do with the Tatris? We cannot make a dress. You can make a lot of hangings with it. Or maybe a shawl, right? Oh, a shawl. This is, a, this, no, it's going to disconnect. A shawl is, uh, I've been trying to finish that for 20 years. Of 20 years? <laughs> never finished it. <laughs> I never finished it. We don't have 20 years, you know, I started it. two months. I started it and I didn't finish it. <laughs> Nasir, how much more time do we have to wait? Uh, two minutes to 10 minutes. All right. What? <laughs> you want to wait to 10 minutes? Oh, two more minutes. Two minutes till 10 minutes is up. Okay, yes. so we have to wait two minutes. That's cool. Tell, tell me what's, what's been happening. What else is going on? Uh, in my world? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Where do what? we start? Yeah. We start. My day starts at 5 a.m. and ends at 2 a.m. So. 2 a.m. Um, That's insane. Yeah. That's yeah. too much. You sleep like what? Three hours? No. Two yeah, hours. probably. I sleep. Uh, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating. I sleep maybe four or five hours a night. Yeah, you know that's not healthy, right? Oh, well, we all have to end up in the same destination. Oh, come so on. <laughs> I'd rather extend mine here, right? <laughs> no, I think maybe you should talk to your doctor and see if he, he or she agrees with that. Uh, I'm, a picture, I'm a picture of health, Dan. I'm just concerned if you only sleep five, four hours, it's not good. That's not enough. At least five, six hours. Yeah. But that's my opinion. Yeah. No, if they all say if I found a may, may, way to make it work, let it roll. I've done that. <laughs> so you're a real chef, not like us? No, 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 no. I think. I, no, like I said, Nasir really, is a really I'm, good cook. He's a really good cook. So I, I told him he needs to teach a class. You, can, you should make your carne asada one time or whatever that you love to make. Yeah, I, I've had um, circumstances in life have forced me to become a uh, better cook than I wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, so take, so I've, take I've a, make, make a, a big use of that, inshallah. Think about yeah, when you can right. teach, maybe October, maybe November, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, so 10 minutes are up. Are we ready to do this? Yes, we're waiting. We're in suspense. Okay, so let me ask you this. If I flip and I still see a lot of liquid, did you say, what did you want me to do? Just leave it covered? Just leave it. It will absorb it. it. Will, okay. And eat it, even if you eat it right now, immediately, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so let me see if I can just move the camera over here. Okay, thanks. And, I, uh, I like my rice mushy, but I think... <laughs> if that for people, it shouldn't be washing. Okay, let's see. Bismillah. Woo. Ah, wait a moment. Ah. 
एंड समथिंग के लिक्विड होगा This is another yours is uh, okay. how is so you want me to just cover this like this and then just take it over and flip it no 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 would you say so put your hand at the bottom of the paw and make sure that if i'm if i'm you i will use a, a pan and a tray that covers even the handles that the handles go inside the tray you know what i'm saying mm, yeah there's, so there's no room for things want something to wider yes than this yes this is wider. this is wider this it, is it, wider. It, it, come, it won't it won't go out because it covers the lip see that you go over the lip. The lip should touch it. To, the, the top of the, the paw should touch the bottom of your pan. The top of the pot should touch the bottom of the pan. Right, right. It, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you have anything flat, yeah. Nasser? Anything flat? Huh? Do you have a flat? Do you have a baking, tr baking tray? Baking tray will work. A baking tray? Yes. Do you have a baking half sheet, baking tray? I think so. Let me see. The foil key? Not for not the, the the disposable foil ones? No. Okay. You want this one? I think I, I know. You you want it to be flat on the surface. I think that's what you're talking you about. This one? Yes. 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 Will this fit? Yes. The, no. Does it fit? Will though? the handles be inside the paw? Let's see this clay, but all of it's not deep enough. This is not deep enough. This is really perfect. Missing. Okay, I've got I've got two different schools of thoughts there. The one the one the one the one to my the one to my right is the one I probably have to listen to because she's saying do it. So, okay. so let me tell you something. Do you see my pen? Uh -huh. Yes. Do you see my pen? Okay. Yes. I have I have this part that has handles. Yes. Right? In the camera. So the handle, the, the, as long as this will go on top of this like this, I mm -hmm. put my hand on top, bottom of mm -hmm. the pan, the, the tray and the bottom of the pot. And mm -hmm. it's like not chota, but if you're using that, the rice can go out of the oh, it will slide. It will slide. Yeah, yes. this is better. Now put your hand on, at the bottom of the the pot deepening yeah but i i'm afraid the rice will flip out on the sides because of this they won't they won't they stick together okay. she's saying no just hold it Trust hold it me. really tight hold it really tight and flip hold what hold it really tight together make them together uh -huh. and flip stop it okay. can move this one okay mine has mine has stuff in it i can't show you like this let me show you if you want to see no 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 Put you, look, no? look, look no. at me. Do you see my hand? Yes. Like this, like this, and here we go. Yes, like that. Flip. Yes, we love. Flip it. Let me do it. Yay! <laughs> okay, here we go. Open I'm it, Bismillah. <laughs> you did it. Open it, Bismillah. We want to see. How beautiful! Beautiful! Wow. 
Hey, hey, mommy, do not mix it. Mix it? No. You don't mix it, that's not biryani. <laughs> not biryani, we don't mix it. That's beautiful. Look at the, the color. The chicken, it looks delicious. The colors are perfect. Yeah. Master, take a picture, please. <laughs> If you want it next time to sit longer, you you can keep it flipped for like 10 more minutes and it will take the shape. Oh, okay. But this looks right. good. Does it so you did a good? great job flipping it, right? Because you listen, otherwise yeah. it will slide. Does it okay. taste good? It is, mommy, check it. This test. <laughs> Good. Hey, good. I've got. A, I've got. A, oh, look at the potatoes. Look at the potatoes are perfect. Yummy. Yum. Yeah. It's fantastic. Very good. Yeah. Very good. On Nasser, you keep the skin on, or you took the skin out? Um, skin is off the chicken. Oh, no skin. Okay. Yeah. Is it good, Auntie? You approve? She's saying it's very good. Yeah. Yes, you got it. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Awesome. Enjoy. Enjoy. I'm yes. happy that you know you were able to. So what I did, so here's a little secret that I did. As I was mixing the spices, this is so good. I took um, a Thai spice mix that I have that's really, really spicy. And I added and I mixed it with the rice and the vermicelli. So it, there's a zing to this dish that's you just guys, something else you guys like you know why food. well you know why because you've got vermicelli noodles in there that's an asian flair so i added kind of asian spices in there to, to kind of bring east and middle east together <laughs> so it was really good well i'm so happy it worked out enjoy it inshallah and sister nada may allah bless you for taking Thank you, the time yeah. and i hope we meet in person soon Thank if you need any uh, any more dishes you want me to make, let me know. Inshallah. Enjoy your dinner. Thank I'm gonna you. try to make something nice for my family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you. Zaklakhair. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Assalamualaikum. Bye.